I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions based on related rate of change. You may consider them as level 2 questions. They are really very interesting. The equation here is a ball is dropped from a height of 20 meters 12 meters away from the top of a 20 meter lamp post. The ball's shadow created by the light at the top of the lamp post is moving along the level ground. How fast is the shadow moving one second after the ball is released? You'll find six, seven videos on shadows while you're walking towards, while you're walking away, while you're walking on a sidewalk. And this one is very different. Here the ball is being dropped a distance away from the lamp post. Uh, I'd like you to watch all these videos to understand the basic concepts. Let's first uh, make a small sketch here to understand the situation. So that is the level ground and we have a lamp post which is 20 meters high. So let's say this is the lamp post which is 20 meters high. And a ball is dropped 12 meters away. So from here 12 meters away at the same level at the same level the ball is dropped. So let's say that is the trajectory of the ball and this distance here is is 12 meters right and as it is dropped you'll find that the shadow of the ball will will be seen on the ground kind of this if the position of the ball is here that is going to be the position of the shadow now let us call this length from that place to this as x now we need to find the rate of change of shadow with time when t is 1. That is what we want to find. That means we have to find dx dt when t equals to 1. And what are we given here? This lamppost is 20 meter high, right? And 12 meters away is where the ball falls. How do we do it? Now we may have to use some formulas which we learned in physics. That is, we have to also find the height of the ball, right? So at any instance, let's say the height of the ball is y. In that case, y is given to us as initial height, right? So let me write initial height as h0 minus half of gt squared where g is equals to 9.8 meters per second squared t is also seconds they cancel we get units in meters that is what we want we want units in meters okay so this is 9.8 divided by 2 is 4.9 but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to approximate it to simplify the question initial height is 20 meters so i'll write 20 here minus Half of 9.8 is 4.9. I'm just going to write 5 here, okay? So that is the approximation t square. So that becomes the formula. Now, we can also find rate of change from here of the height at this particular time with respect to time. So that is dy dt is equal to minus 5. So at t equals to 1, dy dt is equal to minus 10. Perfect. So we got this uh, dy dt thing here. Let us also find the height when t is 1. So, so y equals to 20 minus 5 times 1, which is 15 meters. So we have two things which are important to take into consideration, these two, as we move along. Now the main thing is left and that is to relate x and y to get our equation. Okay, so how do we do that? So wherever, whenever you find triangles like this, you can say they are similar triangles since they have 
common angle and right angle. So this big triangle and that small triangle are similar. Perfect. That gives you the required equation. So we can write y over x. Now let us write x in terms of y, right? So what I will do is I'll write, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's write y over x, okay? So y over x is 20 over all this. All this is x plus 12. Okay, is 20 over x plus 12. So we can cross multiply and isolate y. Okay, let's do that. We want dx dt, so we'll isolate x. So let's cross multiply. So we get y times x plus 12 is equals to 20x. yx plus 12y equals to 20x. Taking this on the right side, we get 12y equals to 20x minus yx. Taking x common, we get 20 minus y times x is 12y. Right, so, so 12 is that distance, do you see that? And 20 minus y is the, this length, okay. So that gives you what x is, so 12y over 20 minus y is indeed equal to x. So that's a very important relation which we have got here. Okay. I'd like you to really look at it very carefully as in a general question, you know, it really depends on this height 20. So 20 minus y is the position from the top. How much the body fell down? y that is 20 minus y do you see that and 12y is this distance 12 times y is this distance right so so we're talking about that change which is x so that becomes a very interesting way of looking at this equation since uh, you know i've seen this question in test papers i like you to understand so that you could save time when it comes to you in any test Okay, now what? We really want to find dx dt. So I have isolated x. Now it's very simple. I know what x is. x is equals to 12y over 20 minus y. So x dash, let me write, uh, let's say dx dt, is equal to, we'll apply the quotient rule now. So if you apply the quotient rule, you get 20 minus y in the denominator square. Derivative of 12y is 12. Let me write y prime for dy dt, okay? So for dy dt, I'm writing y prime. Just saving space. So 12y prime times 20 minus y minus derivative of this times 12y, so let's try 12y, and derivative of this is minus y prime. Is that okay? That's what we get. Now from here, in the numerator, we can always take 12y common. No, 12 only common, this is y prime, okay. <clears throat> 12y prime common, okay. So we'll take 12y prime common, which is dy dt, okay. And what we get here is 20 minus y. This minus and minus becomes plus, plus y. Over 20, mi uh, 20 minus y whole square. Now minus y plus y cancel out. So you get here 20 times 12 y prime. So let me write 12 times 20 y prime over 20 minus y whole square, right? So that's an easy formula to remember. Since in a test, you may have different dimensions, okay? Now, what do you need to find? You need to find dx dt, rate of change of shadow length, when t equals to 1. So if I substitute y equals to, at that time, y is equals to 15, so I'll substitute 15 here, right? So at t equals to 1, y equals to 15. If I substitute that, I get my answer, which is 
12 times 20 times minus 10 and y prime is minus 10 divided by 20 minus 15 whole square perfect now that gives me 24 10 so 24 two zeros 24 two zeros with a negative sign and this gives me 5 square say 5 times 5 25 so let's do this division and get our answer so it is 24 two zeros divided by 25 is equals to minus 96 meters per second meters per second so that is how you are going to solve this particular question now in this set of videos I am going to take few more which are kind of related but uh, really difficult to do they are different from what you have been doing so far I like you to see these videos and search for some more uh, in my set saying Anil Kumar rate of change applications that should help you for your test you feel feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be good for me thank you and all the best